Yo, 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 yo. What's up, Mr. Metal Man? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The main way to get stronger at any lift is not just to do the main lift itself. Let me explain. Doing variations that isolate certain muscles that mainly contribute to the overall efficiency and power of the main lift needs to be isolated. Those muscles need to be isolated and be made stronger so that when you are performing at your main lift, you will be doing it better than before and you'll be way stronger. So, like, you, you can get stronger, of course, by doing the main lift itself. But there's only a, a certain point that you can reach till you hit a brick wall. And by then, you will need to do something else to change it up a little bit. That's why I love doing variations of the lift. You know, if you're doing bench, you can do dumbbell uh, presses, you know. Dumbbell bench press, dumbbell incline bench press, chest flies. I mean, anything that isn't just bench press, like barbell bench press, you know. Or if you are going to use a barbell, you can do, uh, you no, know, uh, you can use a block to limit the range of motion to fix certain parts of your range of motion you see uh, like if your sticking point is like just a few inches off your chest have a little block about that big to push off of, of you know push off of it to fix that sticking point and I like uh, my sticking point is mainly at the top so, I have my safety rails set up to where I'm just pushing the barbell off of it. Uh, it's called a pin press. And you want to really go above your max. Like, I don't know, like, maybe 200%. Like, 100% is your max. Add another, like, go twice the amount. And, there's a, another effective workout for just holding the weight, you know, being able to, uh, be stable enough to hold a weight, which is, uh, you have your safety set up, uh, at the same height, um, where you lock it out just barely, like a few inches, you have someone to help you hold, uh, bring it up, and then you just hold it by yourself, and, uh, you usually want to have 300 to 400% of your max. So not double, but three to, three to four times the amount your max is. And yeah, I know it's fucking crazy. Well, maybe maybe not three to four times. I, I'm probably exaggerating, but you get the point. If, you're, if your max uh, is like... 300, maybe put 455 to 525 pounds on the bar, just holding it. You want to be as stable as possible. So when you put weights uh, that you're actually going to lift on you, you, you won't have a problem with shaking at the elbows or letting it drop because you're unstable. You don't have problems with that. So, your variations uh, will definitely help you in all types of 
uh, situations. Uh, squat. I only do one variation or two variations, and those are paw squats, and uh, I and the other variation is a block squat, which is basically where I have like a wooden block about that big and like a, a foot and a half wide and I put my heels on top of it and squat down so and what that does it it helps you get lower so to maximize your stretch of your quads which will make you stronger in the squat and make you lift even more in the regular squat. So, and paw, paw squat, it, it helps you with stability and overall strength as well. Because you're, a lot of people's main sticky points is right out of the hole. When you bounce out of that hole, you get stuck right there. So, paw squats will definitely help you in your mid range, lower to mid range. Which also helps you in any, uh, m most of your situations that you might encounter. Oh, another, another variation I use is a, is a heavy walkout. So, same thing, uh, two, you know, two to three times your max. You know what I mean. You put that on the bar, and you have your safeties just under where the the rack the standard is where the bar is racked on you have your safeties right under that so you won't fear have fear of falling down with fucking he just wait and you basically just get under the bar walk out with it and hold it for as long as you uh, can and what that does is make your walkouts even more stable and your setup more stable because the more weight you're able to hold, the less likely you're going to fold with it as you're walking out or just standing there getting ready to squat. And as you've seen in my last video, deadlift, pause, deadlift, and hip thrusts I do. Those are the only two I need to do because logically for sumo deadlift that's all you really need. Because your lockout is the most weakest point of the deadlift compared to getting off the floor, which is the easiest. Because, yeah, Sci bro science.